okay, let's grill a giant platter of cheap food for a crowd. We're going to do some saucy yogurt marinated chicken wings with Brussels sprouts and couscous. Step one, I've got about three pounds of chicken wings here, and they're always cheapest to buy whole. Here's the foolproof way to cut through joints. Cut through the skin on the concave side and stop when you hit bone. Then pick it up and dislocate the joint. Crack. Get your knife back, and now you'll know exactly where to cut to get between the bones. The joint is now open. No, this is not the fastest way to break down poultry, but it's the way that requires the least skill, and it doesn't require a scary sharp knife. The third section is here, the wing tip. That's generally just trash, but I'm gonna hold on to it for a thing. Blast through the rest of those, and then get all the edible parts into a big mixing bowl while the wing tips go into a little pot. Check out these giant Brussels sprouts they had at the store. I'm only going to slice off the very tip of the stem. I want some stem left to hold all the leaves together on the grill as I slice these in half. You generally want big whole things for the grill. Otherwise, you're just juggling a million tiny things that could fall through the bars, etc. Any loose leaves, you just pull off and leave them behind. They're only going to burn. I might as well marinate these with my chicken wings, so in they go with them. When cooking with yogurt, these days I can usually find a single serving cup of unsweetened, unflavored yogurt yogurt, which is awesome. I only need enough to coat all of this stuff, which will be one or two of these little cups. I'll pour a little oil in with my wing tips, give them a shake to coat, and then get those browning just for flavor. Then really heavily season this yogurt coating. Use whatever seasoning you want. This is a version of the classic Sichuan spice mala. It's got dried chili, mushroom and seaweed powder for umami, and not too much salt, so you can be really heavy with it. I got this from Fly by Jing, sponsor of this video. Fly by Jing is a really cool new company that is making sauces and spices and such that are inspired by Sichuan. Not traditional, but personal. Hey, that could have been my slogan. Check out the Zhang sauce, named after the dumplings you normally put this on, but I reckon it'll adorn chicken wings nicely, and it sure does. Here's the new hotness everyone is talking about, Sichuan Chili Crisp. It's filled with all of these crunchy bits of chili that add an incredible texture, while actually not being that hot. All these products actually give you a slight numbing or tingling sensation due to this weird chemical relative of capsaicin found in Sichuan peppercorns. Really different. Get some flyby jing and you won't even have to make a sauce like we're going to do in a minute. These are all good on anything and they're all vegan and non-GMO. Follow my link in the description to check out all the delicious options. Use my code ADAM15 and you will save 15%. 15% off with my link and code in the description. Thank you, Flyby Jing. Okay, so the chicken can marinate in the fridge for as much time as I've got. There's a little brown flavor on my wing tips, so now I can just cover those in water and simmer for as much time as I've got. A couple hours later, here, the wing tips make a weirdly white, opaque stock. I would guess because of how much collagen is in them, but who knows. Discard the solids after straining. Rinse the pot, and now I'm going to make my sauce, which is just going to be a classical French gastrique. A cup of sugar in a pot, along along with a little bit of water just to get it dissolving. Doesn't matter how much because we're gonna boil it out. I'm not touching this pot. Hot sugar is very dangerous. I'm just letting the sugar melt and caramelize. Letting it turn slightly golden brown is great for flavor and it makes the syrup less likely to recrystallize. Good enough, heat off. Time to mix in a roughly equal quantity of vinegar. This is rice vinegar, but use whatever. Get your face as far away from the pot as possible and dump it in all at once. I want to overwhelm this extremely hot pot with a ton of liquid so that it can't immediately turn to steam and explode. The caramel has turned into a hard candy, but it'll dissolve real quick as I bring the vinegar up to a boil. At this point, you can throw in some other flavorings. I'm harvesting some orange zest with a peeler so that I get big chunks, easier to strain out later, and I'll squeeze in the juice. Surprise, it's a blood orange. Love those. Reduce the sauce until thick, turn the heat off and in goes the zest. You don't want to get zest too hot or else it turns everything brown. Let that infuse for a sec and if the sauce gets too thick as it cools, you can simply water it down with more vinegar. It'll probably need it. Sweet and sour sauce that is. Now I'll wash the pot again and pour in my fresh chicken stock. Get that coming to a boil with a big pinch of salt and a ton of pepper. That tastes very powerfully of chicken and I think it should taste twice as salty as I want it because I'm going to dilute it with a roughly even 
equal quantity of couscous. People say it's a one-to-one couscous to liquid by volume ratio. Personally, I like it a little wetter than that. Just stir it into the boiling liquid, turn off the heat, and cover. Five minutes later, you can fluff it with a fork, and that's the easiest starchy side ever. My gas grill has been heating on max, mostly just to clean off the bars. I'm going to lay on my marinated chicken pieces and then turn the heat way down. Or on a charcoal grill, I would do this over indirect heat with all of the coals away in a corner. And certainly you could do this in the oven too. Just remember that wings take a long time to cook, so you have to go slow or else the outside will be incinerated. Close that lid and give them like a 10 minute head start. The yogurt marinade tastes awesome, but with all that protein and sugar, it is conducive to sticking, so I'll scrape under each of these with my spatula before I try to flip them. Reposition them all, raw side down, and now is a good time to lay on the Brussels sprouts. They'll need less time. Close the lid and I can go wash that bowl. After another 10 minutes or so, I can throw my couscous in there to reheat, flip the sprouts. I think this would only work with really big sprouts, so if you can't find any, I would just pick another vegetable, like maybe big chunks of zucchini. The wings are done when they look done. They're generally considered white meat, but they cook so much more like dark meat. Wings are basically bulletproof. It's very hard to overcook them. They just get soft and sticky and delicious, almost no matter what you do. That's one of the reasons why cheap restaurants love wings. I'll dump all my chickeny couscous onto a big plate, then I'll come over and just lay wings on top. Man, those are pretty. Get my vegetables as soon as they feel tender, and there we are. I'll tear on some fresh herbs, I've got cilantro and mint there, but use whatever. Last thing is to drizzle that sweet and sour gastrique all over everything. It doesn't have to be hot because you don't put on very much of it. It is so intense. The food will reheat it. Gorgeous glaze. That's one place that could feed the whole family right there, and the food cost was maybe 20 bucks. One of the reasons people coat wings in sugary glazes is the glaze has almost no water, and so the skin underneath stays crispy for a while. Smoky, spicy, crispy, nice.